Okay, so when you're working with a 17 or 18 year old trailer, it has a lot of great features about it because they're built real sturdy and we really love Cassie. So we've gotten the inside pretty much done and now we're going to do a couple projects on the outside. So the front cap of the trailer is very sun faded. There's quite a few spots where you can see the it's gray from where the paint is very thin. We took the decal off front, the top decal, because it was very faded and the paint underneath was very thin. So we decided we were gonna do a couple of different things. So we're gonna paint it. And in doing research, we found these tractor truck and implement spray paints and they got exceedingly high reviews from people who do models and model airplanes and cars and RVs so I went to tractor supply and I got the three different colors because she does have a red and blue stripe which will be much more prominent and I was going to take these off using my whizzy wheel and then paint them back on but they're actually stuck on really really well so what I think I'm going to do is just tape them off and paint them. Um, she is 17. It's never going to be perfect, but we'll see how that turns out. And I can always take them off later if I decide I don't like how it turned out. So the first thing we're going to do is sand down the front, which is going to take quite a bit of time with some 220 sand paper and just get the ridges and stuff off. And then we'll wash it and then let it dry. And then the final piece was down here on the bottom, you could see where there was this plastic strip that goes around the bottom and it was broken when we got the trailer. So thankfully my neighbor, Bob is awesome. And he it works with metal and does custom car pieces. And he is actually making me two new pieces to replace those broken plastic ones out of metal. So that will not happen again. So excited should have those in a few days. And then the front part will be done as well. So step one, this is what she looks like right now. Okay, so now we have gone over the trailer. We used these sanding blocks because it allowed us to get into all the grooves because the front of the trailer has those little waves. And then it also has where the panels come together. Um, it's easy with this edge to get up in there and really sand it down. And we used a 220, 320 angled sanding sponge by Gator. And we did the 220, went over it, took down all the really high spots that were really rough. And then we hosed it down and washed it, let it dry, um, went over it again, um, just ran our hand along the front in each one of the little area uh, grooves across and found any more spots we missed, sanded those down and rinsed it off again, let it dry. And then we went over, so we used the 220 twice and then flipped it over and used the 320 grit. It's kind of cool. It's got the little thing so you know which side is which. And now we have rinsed it off for the final time. And now we're gonna let it dry and then go after getting this first coat of paint. Now it does say do multiple la thin layers. So that's what we're going to do. So as soon as it's all dry, we're going to tape off the lights. We're going to tape off the stripes. We're going to tape off the bottom, drape the plastic down so we don't get it on the diamond plate. And then we'll do our first coat of white. So it should be a lot better. Okay. So we've given it a couple of hours to dry and wiped it down just to be sure and we've taped off the lights, the stripes, and the diamond plate, and the hitch and everything covered that. So we can start with our first coat of white paint. Okay, so coat number one is on, and it came out pretty great. It covered pretty well, even with just one light coat. It took about a can and a quarter to do the entire front, and so I'll have to go back and get one more can for the second and maybe even a third touch up coat. And then we'll let it dry. So you have to let it dry 24 hours in between coats and then any drips or anything, which I didn't see any, but if we have any, 
we'll do a quick sand, wipe them down, and then do coat number two, let that dry 24 hours, come back and do any touch-ups. But so far, it looks awesome. So, and it is actually, it's hard to see with the shade trees here, but it is actually glossy. So it'll look like the rest of the trailer, nice and shiny and pretty when it's all done. Totally worth it. So, so far it's been two cans and that's about $12. So I think the whole thing will cost doing the stripes and the painting will be probably around $25 to $30. Not bad. And it's not perfect, but it looks pretty great. Way better than it did before. So the first coat is dry and it's looking pretty good. There were a few spots that we can still see that we're gonna touch up and put on a second coat. And it did pretty well with coverage on the first coat, but being outside, one of the things we noticed is that there are little bits of leaves and things. Most of them we were able to brush off as long as we didn't touch them while the paint was drying, they were easy just to knock off. So we don't have a way to put this inside and do the painting. So one of the pitfalls of doing it outside, but we're gonna now wipe it all down, sand down a few spots and put on the second coat, but it's looking good so far. Okay, so we've let the white paint dry for three days. Make sure that it's really hardened up well and it looks awesome. And now we're gonna paint the stripes over. Now these are decals, but they are actually adhered down pretty well. They had some cracks in them. So I used a light grit sandpaper just to take any ridges down and scuff the surface. Not that it really probably needed scuffing, but I did it anyway. And so the next step is to tape off the red stripe and put plastic up to protect the rest of the trailer and paint the red stripe a couple of times and then let that dry for a couple of days and then tape it off and do the blue stripe. Okay, so let's see how it looks when it's all done.